My name is Taha Alhiti. I'm an architect and an artist. People just sometimes think that when you do a calligraphy, you just sit down and write like casual writing. And it's the exact opposite from that. It's actually a long process to create a letter of calligraphy. When letters were created as an art, they were based on the human body. The letter would have a chest, the letter would have a lower part of the body, the letter would have a, a neck. So you can see, for example, the elif, uh, which is the first letter equivalent to the A in, in, in Latin. Uh, the elif in Arabic is exactly the human posture. It has the uh, chest and the spine, which is leaning slightly forward, and it has the head of the letter. The spine, or the backbone of Islam, is the Quran, which is the holy book. The Prophet realized that the importance of preserving the Quran in such a way that it cannot be altered or changed. All this richness of, of culture that started brewing under the Islamic pot produced calligraphy in its sophisticated form that we follow until today. We use very strong rules and very tight regulations. If you have, sometimes if you have a pimple on your face, you can see it clearly because it's a bump. Although it's tiny in, in relation to the size of your body, but you see it, you notice it, and exactly the same way in letters, no matter how big or small they are. And that's what makes calligraphy very challenging. And sometimes people could call it as a labor-intensive art because it takes a lot of hours into one sheet of paper. And the combinations of some letters with others are very hard. There are, there are names in Arabic or words in Arabic which are very hard to write. There are long words in Arabic uh, which I'm, I was writing recently and um, the problem with the word is that it's such a long word that it eats half of my, my com composition. So half of my composition is eaten by one word and I have seven other words to fit in. It's just like trying to get two people who don't get on trying to get them to sit and talk. And sometimes it's very hard because each one snaps from a different angle. And um, you have to, it's like diplomacy, you have to work them out. But at the end, the more experienced you are, the more diplomatic you become with letters and the more your letters will actually speak back to you and accept to sit next to something they, they didn't want to sit next to. So I think that's the skill of the calligrapher. Thank mm -hmm. you.